action. When everything's done, when it's, this engine is in the uh, truck and it's running up and down the road, we need to try to simulate as close as possible what that's going to be like here at the home. Now, for that reason, we have what is known as a torque plate that we manufacture here on our F69 ATC for each individual engine that we uh, are going to hone. So what we're allowed to do with that is actually torque this plate down and simulate the actual load that is distressed on the cylinder walls by the cylinder head itself. Now, there's a couple of things that we do uh, about to make sure that we can make this as accurate a portrayal as what the engine or the, the block would see with a cylinder head is at first we'll, uh, we'll install a cylinder head, torque at the spec, and then once it's torqued, roll the block over, measure the bore dis distortion, and record those numbers. Once those numbers are recorded, we will try to simulate this using the deck plate. If you'll notice, most cylinder heads obviously don't look like a torque plate. They don't have holes in them. There's areas that have water jackets, and they're unique, they're different. The structure of the head's different, so that your structural integrity will affect the bore distortion because of the clamping load that's placed by the head studs or head bolts. So what we like to do is get those numbers, record that data, and then duplicate that as close as possible with the torque plate itself. Once we've install the torque plate, we'll roll the block over again, we'll measure the bore, we'll look at the numbers that were recorded, and then we'll tweak the, the head studs to whatever it needs to be to simulate the same condition that you would see in a fully operating engine. So that's just one more effort, that's just one more step that we take uh, to make sure that we are able to produce a quality product for our customers.